हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नरिश एजुकेशन जिसमें मैं एजुकेशन से रिलेटेड वीडियोस अपलोड करती हूँ सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सोर्सेज ऑफ फूड सो लेट्स बिगिन इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फूड फूड इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स एज इट कंटेन्स न्यूट्रिएंट्स लाइक कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट्स वाइटमिन एंड मिनरल्स देन न्यूट्रियट्स वट आर न्यूट्रियट्स न्यूट्रियट्स आर सब्सटेंसेज प्रेजेंट इन फूड दैट वी नीड फॉर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ आर बॉडी All living things need food to survive and be healthy. Let's begin with food from plants, cereals and pulses. Cereals are seeds mostly obtained from grasses. Barley, wheat, maize, millet, oats, rice, rye, these are all examples of cereals. As we know, wheat is ground into flour which is used to make chapatis, bread, macaroni and noodles. In the same way, rice is used to make dosas, idlis, and other dishes. Pulses are seeds from leguminous plants, where the seeds are found in pods, green gram, black gram, chickpea, kidney beans, and lentils are examples of pulses. Fruits and vegetables: orange, apple, banana, peach, plum, melon, and pineapple are some examples of fruits that we eat. Vegetables too form an important part of our diet. They include root vegetables such as carrot, cassava, radish and turnip. In the same way, we have some leaf vegetables like cabbage, spinach, lettuce and amaranth. These are all leaf vegetables. Stem vegetables such as potatoes, ginger, bamboo shoots and asparagus. in the same way fruit vegetables like pumpkin okra that is lady finger tomato and brinjal next we have some flower vegetables such as broccoli and cauliflower these are part of flower vegetables now along with this we have some other foods also that we obtain from plants nuts such as ground nut and cashew nuts then we have spices such as cardamom clove and cinnamon these all form the spices next we have herbs which are coriander mint thyme celery and parsley some beverages such as coffee cocoa and tea these are also obtained from plants oil that we eat obtained from the seeds of peanut sesame sunflower and mustard these are also obtained from plants now food from animals we get many food items from animals we get eggs from hens ducks and other birds which is very healthy for us next meat refers to the muscles and other parts of an animal body that we eat we get meat from fish poultry goats cattle and sheep We get milk from cows, goats, camels and other such animals. Honey is made by bees. Bees change the nectar that they collect from flower into honey. The food we eat each day make up our diet. Our diet usually contains rice, bread, vegetables, fruits, meat, egg etc. Now the food habits of animals. Plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. all animals including humans they depend on plants for their food as they cannot make their own food they eat either plants or other animals that eat plants animals can be herbivores that eat only plants omnivores that eat plants and animals and the uh, carnivores that eat plants and animals their mouth parts are adapted to the kind of food animals like deer horse elephant and giraffe that eat only plants are known as herbivores Herbivores animals like squirrels and rabbits have sharp cutting teeth at the front of their mouth. They use it the, uh, to eat seeds and nuts. Herbivores animals like cows and buffaloes have flat and blunt molars at the back of their mouths that they use to chew and grind the grass that they eat. You can see it in the video. 
Now the carnivorous animals. Animals like the lion, wolf, eagle and snake that eat other animals are known as carnivores. Carnivores birds like eagles and vultures have strong pointed beaks that they use to tear the flesh of animals they catch. Carnivores animals like lions and leopards have long sharp canines to tear meat. Then we have the frog and lizards that have a long and sticky trunk tongue which they use to catch their prey. You can see it. Next, snakes swallow their prey whole and so they have small teeth which help them in swallowing. Omnivores animals. Animals like the crow, cockroach, bear and humans that eat both plants and animals are called as omnivores. Omnivores birds like crows have strong pointed beak that they use to tear the flesh of other animals. In the same way, humans are omnivores with different types of teeth that allow us to eat both plants as well as animals. Now let's learn some other animals that are scavengers. Some carnivores and omnivores such as vulture, crow, hyena and jackal usually do not kill other animals. Instead, they eat the meat of animals that are already dead. Animals that eat dead plants and animals are called scavengers. Food chain The food chain is a linear sequence of organisms where nutrients and energy is transferred from one organism to another. And the relationship between organisms for transferring nutrients is called a food chain. It is a series of animals through which energy or nutrients pass in a habitat. A food chain shows what an organism eats and how all the organism in that specific habitat depend on each other. All the food chains start with plants which are called as producers. Then we have the herbivores and then we have the carnivores. All animals are either directly or indirectly dependent on plants. So this example will make you clear. Thank you and have a nice day.